Welcome Game Design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to construct a scenario in which the player has to pick up a key before he can open a door. And here's what it looks like. You get a status update that says you need to find the key. There's the key which is really kind of a battery thing. When you pick it up you get an energy blast, a little key icon appears, and then you can open the door and the light on the door changes from red to green. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create a variable to store information about gameplay, and you'll learn how to use that variable to run a conditional statement, which basically says, if this is true, then do this. If it's false, then do this. You'll also learn how to create an animation for a door or some other game object. And you'll also learn how to create an animated level sequence to open the door. So let's get started. Let's start by taking a look at some of the things we're going to need to create. Here in the main content uh, folder, you'll see a couple of blueprints. One is the door light. If I double click it, you will see that it has conditional statement. On actor begin overlap. There's a collision box uh, associated with the door. And um, when the actor overlaps that, we cast to the third person character and we look at the variable that we've created, which is called has key. We create a branch statement, which is a conditional uh, true false statement or an if then statement in other programming languages. And we check the condition of that key. Is it true? If it is true, then we change the door, the light, the color of the door light to green. When we end overlap, we change the door light to red. If the condition is false, then nothing happens and we don't change the color, color of the door light. And again, once we leave the uh, area of the door, if we have the key, then the door light changes back red. We also have the key blueprint. And in the key blueprint, we have a begin overlap. We cast to the third person character. And when we overlap the key, we set the key variable or has key variable to true. We create the key widget, which says, which is the little battery icon that's in the lower corner. We add it to the viewport and then we destroy the key to make it disappear. This is a print string. Uh, sort of a debugging thing that I had set up before I decided to create the key widget. It just prints you have the key. And then we also have in the level blueprint the logic that runs the door and it's right here. It looks a little complicated but it's not. We're overlapping the same trigger. We cast to the third person character. We look at the has key variable. If it's true then we play the door animation which is right here. Here's the door open sequence that we create. And we print string, which is that debugging thing, you open the door. If we do not have the key, in other words, if the, if the condition is false, then we add a notification to the, um, to the screen that says you need to go find the key. And we set the mouse cursor visible so we can click OK. If we have the key and we've opened the door, then when we end the overlap. We cast to the third person character, look and see if we have the key. If we do have the key and we've left the door trigger box, then we play the animation in reverse and close the door. And this logic over here just simply spawns the particle system and turns it on and off when we get the key. The final component that makes this work is the level sequence, which is right here and it's made in the sequencer and what this does is it animates the door. If I switch so we um, can see the door, you can see when I move the playhead the door opens and closes and all I'm doing is animating its Z position here with two keyframes and saving that out as a sequence that I can then reference right here. So what I've just showed you is the finished file, and oops, sorry, when we get started, um, I'll come back with the file that you have downloaded, which will not have any of the blueprint programming in any of these uh, blueprints. 
and it will not have the door open sequence because we're all going to create that together. So I'll see you in the next video.